Hi there. In this session, we're going to be taking a look at using a network-based cyber triage collection that is actually pushed out from the cyber triage application to the endpoint using PS Exec. The way this works, pretty straightforward. Cyber triage is used to launch the cyber triage collector onto the target system. Cyber triage collector is launched and run on that target system, and then the results are fed back over the network back to the cyber triage application. So to use this or run this, we do need to have PS Exec available on the system. Uh, PS Exec is just a, a tool from Microsoft, part of the Sys Internals toolkit. I'm sure most of you are, are, are very familiar with it. The beauty of this is it requires no manual interaction with that remote system. Everything is, is done from the cyber triage analysis platform. Only requirements are that you have file sharing enabled on the remote system or on the target system. You need admin credentials uh, for that remote system. And also obviously you need network communication uh, from or to and from your cyber triage uh, platform out to that target system and then back again. There are a few different environments where we see this exec approach being used. Probably the most common is within a SOC slash internal IR team type situation where an endpoint has triggered an alert, you want to get more information about it. Same sort of thing for consultants, a little less common probably, depending on, on how willing your client may be to give you admin credentials to the network, uh, but exactly the same sort of approach. And then finally, we see it happening um, automatically with a, a seam where the client will configure the seam to actually leverage the cyber triage REST API. Um, this is more likely to be used in a server type environment or cyber triage team environment. And then the seam gets an alert of a particular severity that then calls cyber triage REST API and triggers off that remote collection. So investigator comes in, they've got the seam alert and they've got that collection that's been kicked off so they can start diving in and getting the details straight away. In terms of, of setting up, it's pretty straightforward. You need to have PS Exec on the system. That's just a straightforward download for, from Microsoft. You then go into your cyber triage options panel and configure it within the settings here. If it hasn't been configured, the first time you go to run it, you'll actually be prompted to go in and configure it. And we'll actually see uh, you doing that in the demonstration. Cyber Triage uses port 443 by default uh, to receive that incoming stream from the endpoint. You can change it in options if you need to. Um, just note that also you obviously need to have the firewall open on that port. Significantly, the port is only going to be open, Cyber Triage is only, is only going to be listening on that port when there is actually a collection that, ha that has been started. Let's dive into a demonstration. To get things started, click on the Add New Host button and then go to Network PS, PS Exec button. From there, if you haven't got PS Exec already configured, you'll be prompted to go through and find it and set it up. Uh, and you also need to check the end user license agreement. Once that's done, go back and select that Add Host using Network PS Exec, enter the domain name, the host name, and then username and credentials. Next, we have the chance to customize our collection if we so desire. In this instance, we are going for a fairly minimal collection and collecting hashes, not actual file content, just to reduce the volume of traffic over the network and speed things up a little bit. We are going to Check all the MD5s for malware. Kick it off. You'll see uh, the progress shown in the status. And then once that's complete, you're ready to dive on into the investigation. What you'll see now is once the data starts streaming back in, you'll automatically launch into that host dashboard and then be able to see progress as it continues. As the data is getting streamed back to Cyber Triage, it is then start getting processed, which means you can actually go in 
and start looking at those results as they're coming in. That information will be available as soon as it has been processed. You can either kick off your investigation straight away, or if you prefer, wait until everything has been ingested. You can then see the status is all marked as complete, and then you kick off with your investigation.